All right, basics, basics, basics. Um, so we'll make a little Viking guy. Really basic stuff. Um, as I always start with the middle line. Pushing, pushing my finger on the side, placing my pencil. Then I can go all around in the middle. Like so. And on the other side. Okay, and then this is my bad texture one, so I usually put that in the back. And then at 1.5 inch, yeah, in the front, make a line. And then in the back, at 1 inch, make another line. Then I will join the two, roughly, all right, like so. In the front, at maybe half, yeah, half an inch. Or just make a little spot right here for the beard. And then in the back, at, I don't know, a quarter. For the hair. Oh. Okay. And that a quarter again. Yep. Something like this. Make another line for the feet. Okay. And we'll have the arm on the side, but we don't need to do that now because I will remove wood anyway. And then the nose will be here, the mouth, the helmet, the eyes. Okay, so take your knife and there we go. I always start with uh, V cuts along the sides. Like so. That's the same thing in the back. Try to go along the lines that you drew. Okay. And from there, I just pop a little bit on all the corners because it's easier to hold. Your hand will thank you. Okay. From there, I uh, join the sides roughly. Right. Like so. So for the back, we don't want to join them exactly because we want to have uh, little lines for the hair. So just do some V cuts alongside. Okay. Here. Okay, like so. I will do the same thing in the front, going a bit lower because we want some beard. Okay, something like this. All right, so in the front and the back. Now let's round the head popping all the corners over and over and over rounding the head so you have your center line so try to remove symmetrical on all the sides going to the line you will then create some sort of cylinder shape. Like 
Just removing him. What? Because my blade cannot pass here. Okay. at the top to see if you have some sort of a circle not that much I'm going to remove a bit more on that side so that's pretty much it okay so that'll be good for now uh, let's do a little stop cut down here for the feet okay same thing on the other side can join the two okay that'll be okay for now we'll move more later all right so from here we will uh, remove a lot of wood in the front and in the back uh, so I do start from here, around there, with an angle, just remove some woods on each side, okay, like so, same thing in the back, good chunk. Okay, I think I popped a little bit of wood here, okay. There, there, there. So one thing we could do here is uh, could probably go with the arm already. So from there, we have some little edge here and here. Okay. I think we could remove a little bit more before. Make a stop cut. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we want to have a hand. Should make a square. Alright, like this. On both sides. That will be a little bit of arm. Like so. And then the back of the arm will sort of be like this here. Right. It's okay if the square of the the hand are a bit bigger than we want them because uh, we will need to remove a little bit to make the fingers and, and stuff. So just look if it's somehow symmetrical. I can see that my armpit is at this height here, and if I go here, it's really not at the same height. So I could just readjust my line a little bit. But it's fine if they're not exactly symmetrical. So from here I put my uh, carving on the table. And then I stab through. With the tip of my knife. Once. Twice. Should be enough. Same thing here. Oops. Once. Twice. Okay. And then from there, you just uh, remove the wood. Be careful for the first few cuts to not break. And then after that, you're probably good to go. Okay. I want it to be a bit deeper. Yes. Let's have a bit deeper. So it's really up to you right now. It seems to be maybe two, three mil deep. Deeper cut means better shadow, which is always good. Okay, so we do the same thing on the other side. One. 
two, and then it was this line here. One, and two. And same thing. Here I am against the grain. If I keep on going, I will probably break too much wood. So I will stop and remove a little bit less instead. And then come back. It's a thing you learn. The more you carve, you feel it. I can't really explain it. It's just a matter of feeling. And you look on each side. Is it the same depth? No, it's not. So I will remove a bit more. Uh, we're getting there. Doesn't have to be absolutely symmetrical, like I said before, but if it's similar, it's good. So I can see that this arm is a bit lower than this one. Like the armpit is lower there than there. But hey, it's fine. Okay. So we will then uh, remove quite a lot of wood below for example i think i would love to have something that looks like that in shape all right we're doing flat plane so long straight continual cut that's what we want okay like this um now uh, we will bring back the arm with the body so uh, from basically the middle of the chest you will do a long cut all the way to the bottom of the beard like so and then remove the wood so you see now compared to the other side the arm is now back with the shoulder compared to this side so same thing here. Okay. All right. So we have it on the same side. The chest is a bit too flat right there. So we'll just uh, cut through here one side. Try to have the same angle as the beard where it finishes or starts, depending on how you see it. Then a couple. Okay, like so. So same thing here, it's a bit too uh, pointy. So we'll do one cut in the middle right here. Okay, same thing on this side. Yeah. All right, we're getting there. Good. So uh, we'll do the, uh, the bottom of the arm. So what I do is I do some uh, little V-cut under it. Like so. Let's go all the way to the front here. All right. Same thing on the other side. So we'll move more. And you look once again, it's pretty much the same height, but it's a bit deeper. The first side I've done. Okay, good. And then from here, on these two edges, I'll remove more wood again. Okay, so you see the shape is curved here, a bit more on that side. Okay, 
So let's give this guy a little butt. So pretty much between here and here, we would have the bottom of the shirt somewhere like this, which is a quarter of an inch probably. Something like this. Okay. So I'll do V cuts on each side and in the middle, like so. Okay. All right. So we can see the little butt right here. Okay. Um. So then. We will uh, just make the arm appear on the back, just a straight line, and then I do V cuts along it, like so. Okay. All right. Then I will remove a little bit of wood, remove the lines. Okay. Then I will just bring everything back in a little bit. Doesn't have to be uh, perfect, as I always say. That's good enough. Back. Okay. We can remove a little bit more later. And we will uh, trim the, the head a little bit. Um, let's attack the feet now, because they're a bit wonky. So we have the center line here. We can make one cut. And then we can remove a bit of corners. Like so. Okay. And then these are way too wide, so I will pop half of it. Below, if they look pretty similar, it looks like it. And I would love to remove a little bit more inside here. Okay. And then on the edge here, I will remove a lot of wood to make the feet go a bit downwards. Like so. Same thing on this side. Okay. Like that. And the feet are going out now. So we will uh, remove wood from the side. Okay. We can adjust the feet a bit later. So the hands, because they're not in the pocket or anything like this, um, I will just uh, separate them. Little stop cut like this. And then you can remove a little bit of wood. Okay. able to readjust that same thing on this side okay so now we have the squares out so then we will uh, round the inside of the arms so in an angle i come in on both sides like this okay just readjusting this i kind of broke it down
Okay. Same thing on this side. Okay. Good. So let's separate the hands. So I do a stop cut. And I cut inwards. Like so. I'll just remove a little bit of wood from here because the hands are locked with the pens right now. Okay. Readjusting, readjusting. Okay. Same thing on this side. Stop cut and cut inward. Okay. So now we want to have a thumb. And then some fingers. Looks like we have enough space for a good amount of fingers. And then same thing on this side, I would say. All right. So first, I will round the end like so. Same thing on this side. Okay. Then. Against the grain, we'll make a step cut. Don't start with this one because that will break. So, against the grain, step cut, and then after that, you will pop that little bit. Now you have a little thumb. And then from here, I don't step cut, I slice in in an angle, and I slice in again. And you can do that a couple of times. You have less chance of snapping the wood if you slice in like that. Okay, and then after that you can just do a little cut like this for the fingers. And then that should be good enough. Okay. So that's one hand. We'll do the same thing on the other side, so against the grain, that with the grain. Okay. And then we'll slice again. Great. That broke. So I could probably put it back in. We'll see. I'll leave that close by. So this happens. So what you do in that, when this happens, you don't throw your carving away or anything. You just take glue and then you put it right on. back in. Thing is that just let it dry and then you will just have to cut it back a little bit and then you will see absolutely no difference after. <clears throat> Almost happy it happened because you can see that it's no big deal. If you break a nose, if you break something, you can just uh, glue it back in. Then we'll let it dry for a bit, and then at the end of the carving, we'll just come back in and uh, remove the little chippet of glue. So we have the second hand right there. It's broken, but you do, we don't have to tell anyone. Okay. Good. So we have the bag, we have the butt, we have everything here. I will remove a little bit of wood in the back to flatten that part. 
And then we'll see that uh, this is going way to out world. And then this here, trying to be symmetrical again. Looks like it. Okay, let's uh, give him some backs right here. So stop cut in the middle where the line was. And then you can uh, cut it in an angle. Like so. I like to remove quite a lot of wood in the back. Like this. Okay. And I do a little uh, V cut in an angle here. Give him some little some little bottom. Okay. I'll just flat plane style it. Okay. There we go. Like so. Looks pretty good. Um so we have both hands. Okay. I don't really like the shoulder, they're a bit too high in the back, so uh, I will give him a little, uh, little chop. So let's uh, yeah, readjusting the shoulders. Okay, it's a bit better like this. So now um, let's go with. Uh, just fi we'll, we'll finish with the head as usual. I will just remove this benzo texture. Okay, great. So I will come in an angle again. separate the chest pretty much where the hands are like this give a little space for the pants so we'll do that right there so from there and basically where the thumb is I'll do uh, V cuts okay just to separate from the pants. Okay, it's not separated. Again and again and again, removing more and more wood. Shoes again. Great. Cut in the middle. Then you can give him a little crotch. this then I will uh, pop these corner here the shoes good and then little V cuts in the front a 
that gives him a little crotch. Okay. I'll fix that later. All right. So from here, um, we will put just a little separation in the back. So where the basically the slope is, I'll do the same V cut. Separate the church, the church, wow. Separate the shirt and the pants. Like so. So one thing we could do is give him a little belt. So be really careful here. You don't have to do that if you don't feel like it, but just a little bit above, like one mil. We'll do little V cuts following the ones we had before. So now it has a little belt. Okay. You can do the same thing on the back. Okay, it's time for the face now. So, um, let's round the top. You can see all the edges that you have, all right? So it's always easier to cut from an edge than a flat spot. So we will round all around the head. So it's a bit too thick on the side. I think I want to have a little bit less beard than that. So I will just remove wood on each side. Like so. And I look, oh, it looks pretty good. Let's round it more. Up. Does it look like a circle? It's getting there. Okay, from there I go against the green, like so. Just a little spot like this. I go with the pull cut. I just removed a little chip bit of uh, wood. So here we are. We have the rounded top and then the sides. So for maybe at that height, which is probably in an half an inch, pretty much. Make a line in the front. I should have started in the front, sorry. Then maybe a little bit more than half an inch in the back. And we'll join the two. So I want the helmet to be sort of like in the head, not just on top of it. Okay. Something like this. All right. This is a bit too square, sorry. I will remove that and, and that. Okay, so stop cut along the line, and then you cut below it. We want this part to be flat because that's a helmet. I always love V cut better than stop cuts, but uh, sometimes you have to stop cut. the line. 
line following the line. Will be a shape for the helmet. We'll finish it later. So the face now. Okay. Well, pretty much in the middle. Will be the nose. Okay. So I'll make a stop cut. Depending if, like me right now, it's really flat, so to be able to pop the nose I will make longer cuts like here if you have more of a pointy face you would probably require a little bit less cuts but that's fine they both work okay. so I have a little nose spot right here so on the sides We'll make stop cuts. Alright. Same thing on this side. And we'll remove the wood from here. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's a big and flat nose, so I would go in the corners. Like so. Remove the two corners of the nose. Okay, so that's where we are right now. We have a nose. thin long nose that's what we have um, so we could do different type of eyes but uh, I think for this one we'll have the cheek and uh, yeah so we'll do V cuts next to the nostril area like so okay same thing on the other side you have a little bit of angle, just a little bit. Okay, like this. So then we have this little uh, part of the nose right here, little corners. We'll do another set of V cut. on this side all right so that would look like this so we will bring them together a bit funky for now but that's okay then I will also join this part here huh. there we go so we have Eyes put and then the big cheek. All right. Just fix all my cuts. All right. Good. Um, 
from there, I'll make some cut in an angle like so. Then we'll remove the wood just a little bit. Give him some big mustache. Okay, like this, all right. So you could leave him like this if you want, but uh, I will give him a little mount too. So I will not draw a line, but uh, you basically stab with your knife in the middle. Can I have him a little smiley face or not? It depends. So that looks like that. And then from there, I will remove the wood just under it. Okay. Good, good, good. And then for the eyes, uh, we will do some half circle. So we want him to be a little bit happy. Then you go with your knife. Around it. Same thing on the other side. Okay. And then from there, with the tip of your knife, you will remove a little bit of wood inside the eye on each corner. Might be tricky depending on the length of length of your blade because of the nose. Take your time. Just remove a little bit of wood. Little by little. So I've done a little cut in the nose. I will fix that. Okay, so we have the eyes now. Good. So the glued hand right here, I can finally come back. Just fix a little bit. Here we go. So we have the face and everything here. Uh, we should, I will um, remove a bit of the corner of the beard here because we don't like sharp edge. Okay, same thing on this side. Coming in an angle. There we go. Looks a bit better like that. Good. So let's separate the beard from the hair, which is really simple. I just do a cut here, a little bit in the front, and from the side of the face, I will remove the wood, like so. Okay. 
Same thing with this side. Okay. So that's done on each side. I don't like the shoulder still, so uh, I will bring them back in. Yeah, that's a bit better. On the other side too. Good. So that's where we are. We're getting there. Let's finish the feet now. Uh, I will remove the ugly wood in the front. Pop the corners below the feet. On each side. Okay. Um, let's go back down all the way to a mill or something like this. So from the side, we'll do V-cuts. Okay, like this, all the way to the back. Be careful here, you're at the edge of your piece. Something on this side. So now we have shoes. All right. And uh, what else? Uh, the helmet, I guess. And that's pretty much it. So, screw the helmet. Let's give him a beanie instead. So you just basically, I will not draw a line that much, but uh, you just add another layer of uh, stop V cut from the top. So depending on the color you paint it, that can be a helmet still or a toque or whatever else you feel like. Partner's cooking food and it smells really good. Okay. There we go. Alright, little hat. So do we have anything else apart from just fixing the everything? Not really. I want him to be flatter, more flat plane, so I will just flat and everything in one long cut. There we go, looks a bit better already. Mm -hmm. I haven't touched that for a long time, so I'll fix the back too. Great. One last thing would be the classic triangle that I do on the beard all the time. You just point your knife in, two angle, and you come and then you remove it. Same thing at this side. Up. There we go, and if you let a little mark, you can remove it like this. Well, that is pretty great. Is that a Viking? Is that not a Viking? 
you know, it's hard to tell. Could be a Viking, could be just an old Gube. It's really up to you. From here, I will just do a couple of V cuts at different places just to give a little bit more life to it, especially in the armpit and on the elbow. A couple of V cut like that, you see, it gives it a little bit more life on the, the fabric. Should have a little V right there too. Yeah. Give him a little bit more of a bum. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will just uh, fix a little bit of cuts uh, outside the camera and then that's pretty much done. Really a simple little guy. So here's the final piece, all cleaned up and painted. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was uh, easy enough to follow. I will add a lot of timestamps like uh, some of you have suggested in my last community post in my community section. So yeah, uh, if you do one of these, please send a picture to me on my social media. I would love to see them and uh, we will see each other in the next video. Bye bye.